This is an inventory demonstration to illustrate using FIFO, LIFO, and average cost to price inventory and cost of merchandise sold. Keep in mind that these methods are only cost flow assumptions, not the, ex uh, uh, not the actual flow of the merchandise. The first one is FIFO, or first in, first out. Think of a refrigerator. This is my best example. The contents of a per of are perishable and need to be used in the order they are put in. For example, the first milk in is older than the next milk put in, so you would use the first one in. That is to say, first milk in, first milk out. Ending inventory is then made up of the most recent milk, the last one put in inventory. In, a, in this case, the refrigerator. Last in, first out is opposite, called LIFO. And my example here is thinking of Best Buy. You go into the store to buy a computer. If price is no object, which one will you buy? You'll buy the last computer stocked in the store because it has the latest and greatest features. That is to say, last computer in, first computer out. Ending inventory is then made up of the old obsolete computers. The first ones put in inventory, i.e. the Best Buy warehouse. Remember though that these are only cost flow assumptions used to price the ending inventory and the cost of merchandise sold. The physical flow of the goods is usually much different. Our example is going to be strictly classical they purchased 10,000 compact discs over the course of a year in four different purchases, uh, each with differing numbers of discs and each at a different cost per unit. If the year-end inventory reveals 1,000 discs on hand, what is the inventory value on the balance sheet? And also, what is the store's cost of merchandise sold? Here's a grid that I've developed that shows the method along the left-hand column and uh, ending inventory in the second column, heading the second column, along with cost of merchandise sold on the right-hand column. First in, first out says, remember, the first goods in are the first ones to sell. That's a cost flow assumption. Doesn't mean that's the physical flow, but a company has to adopt one of these methods to price out the inventory and the cost of merchandise. So in this case, last in first out says the last thousand discs are those of those purchased are going to be ending inventory. And those came at a price of seven dollars and forty cents each. And so ending inventory would have a cost of seventy four hundred dollars. Now to look at cost of merchandise sold you can do two things. You can take the total purchases and subtract out ending inventory, or you can look at them specifically by items that were sold. In the first one, you would take total purchases, which was $73,300, and subtract ending inventory, which was $7,400, or $65,900. The detail of that would be starting with the first items purchased, 800 of the ones at $7, 2200 of the ones at 750 4000 at at the cost of 725 and 2000 at the cost of 740 each for a total of 65290 I'm sorry $65,000 the next method is last in first out or lifo Remember, ending inventory is made up of the last of the first items purchased. Of the first items purchased. Because the last ones coming in are going out, first items purchased are in ending inventory. And in this case, we would have 800 units at $7 each and 200 units at $7.50 each for a total of $7,100. The cost of merchandise sold, again, can be calculated two ways. You can calculate it based on total purchases minus ending inventory or based on the last items purchased. Uh, total purchases of 73300 
the uh, minus 7,100 of ending inventory is going to give us $66,200. Or the last items purchased were 2,000 at 750, 4,000 at 725, and 3,000 at 740 for a total cost of $66,200. Average cost is a little bit different. You need to track the average cost per unit purchased. And to do that, you're going to add up your total purchases for the year, divide that by the total units purchased, so $73,300 $73, divided by 10,000 units is equal to $7.33 per unit cost average. And since there were 1,000 units in ending inventory, 1,000 times the 733 is equal to $7,330. Cost of merchandise sold then could be taken as either total purchases minus ending inventory or the number of units sold times the $7.33 average, both equaling $65,970.